Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Notions One, and my name is Ben. This is a review on the Logitech G400 mouse. As you can see, I've got a Logitech MX518 to compare it to, and this is the Logitech G400. Both of these are optical mice and they both both of them have the same design as in the back bit, this bit here is a lot higher up than on a lot of mice. So when you do that, in fact if I do it with my right hand, it will look better. If you do that, back the back of your hand there is on there so your fingers can be on the buttons. On a normal mouse, mouse, if you did that, if you put your back of your hand on the back of the mouse on a normal mouse, your finger would be somewhere up here. It'd be it'd be like that. It, it would because the back of the mouse wouldn't be raised as it is on these. This is what makes these mice so comfortable. The reason that I have got the MX400, sorry, MX4, four, yeah, MX400, G400, sorry, not, not, this is the MX518. The reason I've got this is because the MX518 sadly broke. I think there's an issue with the cord because it kept saying it was unplugged and then it was plugged back in, then it was unplugged, then it was plugged back in, straight after each other. Anyway, this this one is knackered, and it will go down the tip. If you look on the side here, you have your back, and your forward button. These are actually really useful when you're on websites, I find, especially if you find the back button really useful. And obviously, using the software that comes with these mice, or should, I haven't actually got the software yet, because I can't find it on the internet, and you guessed it, it didn't come with it, because this is, I got this for quite cheap, because it's a manufacturer refurb, refurbished mouse, basically someone's just sent it back, really, and... But they didn't want it. There's nothing actually wrong with the mouse at all. It works spot on. I actually think it go. This mouse actually goes up to three thousand two hundred DPI, which is just crazy. <laughs> You'll never need that. And this one here, the the MX five one eight, is about I think sixteen hundred DPI. You won't you won't even need that either, to be honest. Yeah, all of it's over the top. But that's what it has, that's what they have, sorry. And if you look closer, if you look here, it's got buttons here. And it's got a button there, and it's got a button there. What you can do, if you press that, that in, you can make it so when you move the mouse forward, it will scroll up. And when you move the mouse down, it will scroll it will uh, go down. Just close something on my computer. It will go down. These are very similar mice in looks and in performance. They both perform very, very well. I don't actually game, but if I did, I would know that both of these mice would be a hundred percent up to the job. The way the reason I know this I can feel it. I used to be a uh player of a game called Soldier of Fortune two and I was one of the best players in the world at it. We we used to have clans and uh, play play matches every Sunday night and Sometimes Monday as well, depending. And we used to have the best players in the world. 
and I used to use, I didn't actually use this exact mouse here, but I did use a very similar Logitech MX, MX500, it was something like that. I can't remember the exact model name or number of it now, because it's quite a while ago. But if I find out, I'll put it on this video's uh, description. You can change the DPI by that button and the top button. The top is this button here. You see it there? Above the scroll wheel. And this one here, I can't remember what it does actually off the top of my head because the other one has it as well. Uh, anyways, but yeah, obviously both of these are wired mice. I don't like wireless mice because of lag issues and potential battery issues. I would have to change my battery probably every week, batteries every week for the wireless mouse because of how much I use my computer. And yeah, basically, it's a really nice mouse to use. I highly recommend it. It's very, very comfortable in your hand. It sits in your hand like this. I haven't got especially big hands. I would say my hands are average size. And just click, 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 click. Yeah, I'm hoping this will last me another f two or three years. Then I'll get another, probably Logitech again. Get another Logitech mouse. And hopefully it'll be as good as this. I don't want it to need it to be any better than this. Because this is as good as this. And this is as good as I needed it to be. I can't see if this is any better or worse than that. But the DPI rating on this is a lot higher so it'll just go it'll just do a lot higher dpis than this one does but you won't you don't even need the dpis that this one does in the first place so there's not even any re need for it or reason to have it yeah so my re conclusion is that if you get this mouse to about 25 pounds I think I paid twenty three ninety nine for it, which is not a bad deal. Seller refurb on eBay. Usually you'd be looking at about thirty pounds for it. So I saved about seven pounds. Six or seven pounds I saved. So yeah, if you can find this mouse for twenty five pounds, I'll slap it up because it is a very good mouse and. It shouldn't let you down. It should last you for years. And to be honest, I think this mouse here only broke because it got caught in my desk in the drawer. And the, the slidey bit on my desk, the, 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 the drawer for the keyboard, got caught in that and the wire, the wire got caught in that and I think made the wire go bad. So it's my own fault really for... Just not checking. Anyway, done my conclusion. I will put this video on YouTube and hopefully get some comments. If you ever, if you own either of these mice, please can you let me know and uh, put a comment up. I want to know how you find using this compared to say a razor death adder or something like that a razor kind of mouse something that's really exclusive because logitech is more of a office kind of brand compared compared to razor which is more of a gaming kind of brand if you know what i mean but yeah obviously the logitech can game and the razors can do office work but yeah anyway I'll conclude this video now and please like this video if you have liked what you've seen. Please comment on this video if you have anything to add.
or ask me. And yeah, that's it. And this is the end of the video, and I hope you have a nice day. And thank you very, very much for tuning in, watching. Cheers. Bye.